and it really does affect the deal makers as well. I think in the sense that if you're, let's say you're a, a broker, for example, I I would presume that you as a broker broker would have loved to be able to say, right, I'm going to see the underwriter from Swiss Re this afternoon. How much business does the client I'm representing do with them? How much have they done historically? Is that more or less than their peers? I, how much business do we place with that reinsurer as mm. a, a breaking team? I, all of that kind of stuff is so useful as an evidence. And then layer upon that, if they're kind of working with their student as well, you know, wouldn't it be amazing to know intricate details about their portfolio and have those aggregated to hand? So it's like, oh, actually the book is getting a lot lighter. They've moved limits up and, yeah. and so on here without having to do tons of manual work and go and count all your jars of jam. Yeah. I imagine that would have made you a much more effective broker when you're trying to persuade yeah. a reinsurer to accept a particular price or to take a, a certain share of, of different layers. Yeah. But at the moment, it's more like, oh, come on. You know this. This. <laughs> I don't you know what know. accent that was. <laughs> I, you know that this fella's a, a, a nice sedent. Yeah. Well, and, and relationships, 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 <laughs> which, which are important, but even more yeah. so when you can give them something to trust. Right. And and we've talked about why reinsurance is good before. I think doing this well accelerates the goodness, if you will. So the sedents and the brokers have a better understanding about what they're buying and why. And they buy the correct amount at a, the best price. And that trickles down to the end customer who benefits from their insurance company having better access to efficient capital. And then it helps the reinsurers assess deals more accurately. And as, as Harold was saying previously on a, on a different podcast about um, understanding the risks that they want to take on and helping them align their portfolio. So you begin to build this mechanism whereby you're beginning to cover insurance gaps and provide more access to capital. And all of these things improving because you're making the underlying data and the underlying access to deals and things more efficient. And, and the knock-on effect of that is, is significant. And, and that's where we sort of see it progressing, is helping that process. 